So basically what, uh, what I'm going to talk today is part presentation and part a little bit of promotion for uh, a book from the site where I dedicate some of my time to, which is sidepoint.com. And they recently launched a new book, practically the editor of the PHP channel for SidePoint created a book on how to set up professionally a PHP environment. And uh, let's run through it pretty pretty fast because we're running out of time. So, my name is Adrian. Um, no, during the day, I'm a front-end developer. During the night, I'm uh, ambassador for SetPoint. So I'm do doing a superhero life. That's my info in case everyone wants to talk and I'll have the business card for, uh, for everyone. So when we start, everyone wants to start PHP, goes online and say, starting PHP the fast or this way. Everybody said, go and install uh, one of the compact solutions, which normally the most uh, known ones are WAM server, uh, MAMP and XAMP. Let's go a little bit to each of them. So one server, I guess, is the oldest one. It only runs for Windows. That's that's the W in the beginning. And last night, these were the versions of the components that were installed. It, it has a few more other components like Perl, Python, but the main ones that everybody is interested in is Apache, MySQL, and uh, PHP. And as I said, that's Windows only. You install it, you start the processes, and uh, you're good to run. The next option is uh, called MAMP, my, my Apache MySQL PHP, and they come in two variants, one uh, free, which allows you one website instance, and uh, another pro, which gives you like a lot of more uh, things to, to do. That's what you can get them on MAMP.info, Again, they are running with uh, a slightly different uh, version of Apache, the older version of 2.2, and they recently added support for the new PHP 7.0. Uh, the third one, and like the, the one that covers all platforms, uh, back to the previous one, so the MAMP is available both for Mac and Windows, while the last one will run uh, for uh, on all environments, Linux, Windows, and uh, Mac. Uh, don't be afraid by MariaDB because it's practically, after or Oracle acquired MySQL, some of the developers were afraid that it's going to lose the open source flavor, so they fought. Well, practically, MariaDB is uh, the open source variant of MySQL. They're compatible on, on everywhere that matters. This one, as I said, the package brings you all the flavor of PHP from 5.5, 5.6, up to 7.0.1, uh, and you can run it again. You install, you run, and usually go to one of the tutorials and write your own uh, hello world in the PHP. I said, that's the easy way, and it's not uh, necessarily all the time the right way. As the old wizard Albus Dumbledore could tell us, sometimes you must choose between what is right and what is easy. When you go and apply for a PHP developer position, you are not going to say that you develop your things on uh, XAMP, for example. They'll say, okay, come with us, uh, thank you for, uh, don't call us, we'll call you in five years, when you learn how to do things in the professional way. Uh, as I said, there is right now, <coughs> a collection or, or guide on how to do this in the, in this book, which at the end I have uh, one copy to give up for someone who will be interested in it. This is the author Bruno Quartz, so it's pronounced like Quartz with an S in front of it. That's I learned when I said, how do I say your name? He said, use Quartz and put an S in front of it. So he's from Croatia, he's running for many years the PHP channel on uh, SidePoint, and wrote on a lot of articles and a lot of books on the uh, on this topic. So he started with the, this new. Let's have run quickly through a content, and with this 
uh, on the same time we will understand exactly what steps are required when setting up a professional environment to run PHP. Uh, first of all, is doing a quick. It's assuming that is somebody starting from so it's a book aimed at beginner level. So we're talking a little bit about the web request, about clients and server, about practically what are the mechanisms that make all these things running. Then next, he's talking about the fact that two environments. There's one where we're doing the programming and there's another one where the application is running. And uh, on the programming environment, he's talking about on the fact of using a good editor, and not just editor, but what is usually it's called an uh, integrated development environment, an IDE. Sublime Text that we've seen this several times today is one of these environments, but mm, you usually need to download a few plugins to get it up to task so that it, uh, it behaves more like an uh, IDE and not just like a simple text editor. Then next, talking about the importance of coding standards so that usually on a pro large project you're not the only one working and you have to make sure that everybody is on the same page at least it reduces the headaches when it comes to reviewing the code and uh, debugging it later. If you come in uh, next uh, month and uh, look at another function, uh, who wrote this? Uh, I don't know, somebody who's left two weeks ago, but he wrote it his own way. So you're back to square one. Uh, a little thing about working on command line and for Windows or terminal for Mac, and we've had again today some few more examples on how useful the things is. And there is a bit more about the PHP community on uh, with descriptions about forums and uh, discussion lists and mail lists where you can ask for help or where you can look for tutorials and other uh, things that will help you start it. Next, when we're talking about the application environment, is actually where your project is going to run. Uh, we have Normally, you're supposed to have a f at least these four. Where you have a production environment where project is actually going live. You have a development environment when you're uh, working, uh, when you're building that application. That's the absolute minimum. And ideally, you should have a staging and maintenance where uh, you do the testing uh, and uh, where actually run any new code and any new features before you put them live so that you don't uh, accidentally error minus rf the whole uh, server. Uh, next is talking about the evil of the easy way that we've seen earlier, uh, and why they're not very useful for uh, a, a professional approach to, to development. They can help you start it when you have zero, that's very, it could be very important, but after a while, we have to, like everyone who started, uh, they're like the helping wheels on your bike. Once you start it, you put them away and you start doing uh, more fancy and fancy stuff until you broke your knees uh, the first time. That happens through, you learn a lot more through errors. So the main problem is that they're installed in a, in a mono, some way monolithic way. You can't upgrade. Uh, the, the specific components uh, very easily they're uh, tied down to the to the package itself uh, so the best way and which will also learn a lot more on how things happen is to install them uh, manually and have maximum of uh, uh, customization level in, in what we're doing there and again so there are a few details about how this uh, bundles, while helpful at the very first steps in the real life, they're, uh, they're not recommended. So again, he's talking next on, uh, how, on the, how the production and the development environment should look. Ideally, you should mirror the, the development environment as much as possible production one, and I'm talking most about uh, data, because it's one thing to run uh, your application with uh, a couple of entries which are generated by hand, and it's another thing to run it with client data, or at least similar format, 
which will give you all sort of uh, uh, waking up calls on how uh, some of your code might uh, fail to consider certain situations that happen in the real life. And the last part of this chapter will be a bit, a bit about uh, how performance and debugging is happening uh, for PHP environment. Next, uh, next recommendation is to use virtual machines. I, still, I uh, think many of you already got to them. Those who work in front-end development uh, usually go to modern.ie and download the Internet Explorer virtual machines to test in the older ones. Hopefully, considering that last week they dropped support for anything below 11, we won't have to do that again for a longer, from now ever. Uh, now, uh, virtual machines, there are a few uh, variants that are uh, used and most, uh, like, uh, the most used one is, uh, one of them is VirtualBox. I think it's uh, produced and maintained by Oracle. And the uh, next helpful thing for this is uh, it's a component called, uh, it's an application called Vagrant, which practically uh, runs you um, a virtual machine in a server mode. A normal virtual machine has all that interface on top of it that is running. Vagrant will run your machine just like it would be a server on a production without loading all this uh, uh, extra stuff, which is uh, practically not needed. There will be a few things on how to use Vagrant, how to install it, and what exactly it does. How to run the virtual machines, how to uh, set up uh, sites from a Vagrant machine, and how to shut it down. Next thing, and uh, very important today, is getting hooked up to a version system. Uh, many years ago, like the one of the the only one available was SVN. Now Git. It's uh, the the main one, and this chapter runs a little bit through the details of what versioning is, what are the the details of using Git and GitHub to host your code and maintain your versions, and uh, a few examples on uh, how to actually deploy Git, and talking about uh, the commands, but also the, the hooks that allow you to automate certain processes, like it was uh, the example before with the uh, GARP or Bower for the front end, but this is, we're talking here for the back end, so there will be different uh, managers for these things. Uh, next chapter actually talks about hosting, and the first part of it is uh, analyzing the different type of hosting, like the most common ones, and while everyone will start, it will be like share hosting, when practically your website is running on the same server with 10,000 other uh, accounts. Uh, talking about uh, cloud hosting, where we're talking about a virtual server that is spread uh, around the farm of, uh, of, of machines that uh, do the processing power, and then actually where you have the most control, the private hosting, which can be uh, dedicated or virtual, meaning that you can have control on an actual physical machine, a server, or you can have a virtual machine like the ones uh, exemplified earlier, that is running other uh, running either on a, a dedicated server or somewhere in the cloud. And again, it runs through the advantages and uh, disadvantages of uh, each one. And bottom line will be that you would prefer to run with the third option, a private hosting, where because you will have uh, maximum control on the environment and at the same time minimum interference from uh, from the exterior. The last part will talk about how to do deployment on the server, either manual, log in with the client, FTP, copy files, and uh, that's if you want to wait half a day. If you want to let's suggest zip it first and unpack it on the server, or how you can do automatic and semi-automatic deployment most of the times using a versioning system like GAP, like uh, Git and GitHub. We were talking a bit earlier about uh, package manager, and in the world of PHP, Composer 
is uh, the package manager of choice that will uh, help you put together uh, various dependencies and uh, from the uh, libraries and frameworks that uh, are used in PHP. It runs a bit through the history of how normal code integration was done. Like first we were including all the files, which is the spaghetti western era. And you should see in the book there is a very nice picture with a kid eating spaghetti. So that's the kind of mess that you can get with sort of things. Then people move to namespaces, but that still involved including the whole file and the whole code before you were using what was needed. And uh, today we're going, we have Composer, which is uh, like Bower in the front end part. Composer runs the same uh, function for uh, PHP. And there will be some usage examples and a few more tricks and trips. Uh, the last part of the book is actually an example because theory is very nice and it's very uh, shiny, but until you dirt your hands with the code, you'll uh, most of it will will just pass by yourself. So, in uh, actual the actual application is a guest book where you're recording messages from uh, users and you display them uh, in chronological order, and he talks about the scope of application, how to set up the environment, uh, how to boost. In this case, bootstrap has nothing to do with the framework. Bootstrapping means actually what Yeoman does, set up the initial structure of the of an application. Next is about developing and deployment with a little bit of uh, touch on how to do automatic testing and uh, how to get things good for, uh, for production. Now, this book uh, usually is available through the SetPoint Premium Program, which uh, if you're paying by month, you can read it only online. If you pay by uh, week, by year, you can uh, download it in various formats. There is also a lifetime option. Uh, whoever dies first, SetPoint or you, it's, it's guaranteed through the contract that you'll have the access. Uh, if you're a student, there is uh, a, a special offer only for students uh, that will uh, give you on, so a year membership for $25. Uh, dollars, and that includes uh, access to all the books, all the video courses, all the tutorials that are. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so uh, these are the options that uh, are, are for how to to get your hands on the book, and uh, you can also. Uh, Get in touch with me, and I can uh, tell you more details about how uh, how things happen. Can you put something on the comment section in the meetup? Uh, a link or? I will have the links. I will have the oh. the presentation. Everything. That's great. Cool. Questions? Okay. Thank you for your time, then.